Hey everyone, Glitch the Third here, and this is Pokemon Black Part 81. <laughs> I bet you guys have been wondering why I haven't been recording commentary for the past 30 episodes or so. Well, it's because I'm uh, just honestly that lazy. Between that, it just ends up being a huge hindrance because there's only certain times I can commentate, and that kind of conflicts with what I'm usually doing, which is a lot of reading anymore. But anyway, I decided to comment here on this episode because it's pretty damned awesome. Okay, so I actually know what's coming up next. Um, I just decided to revive my Pokemon for the hell of it. Yeah. My microphone is not working right at all, so if this sounds crappy or whatever, then it's because it's been in storage for like the past month or so. I really haven't had a whole lot of free time. Or if I have, I've been using it for things other than games. Yeah, so I haven't really been paying much attention to this LP. But, come in here, talk to the champion, and guess who beat us to the punch? Yep. Oh yeah, I watched Death Note and Code Geass like over the past couple months, so... <laughs> After I came back to this, I realized something. It's pretty much a direct ripoff of both. And you'll see why in a minute. Like, I mean, the similarities are just too great. You have N, who's pretty much named after N from Death Note. You have, like, this giant castle thing that apparently they had the money to build out of, like, nowhere, basically. And then Gutsus himself even looks like friggin' Emperor V Britannia guy, Charles, whatever his name is. It's just too good to, like, for it to not have been an influence. I'm really astounded by how Nintendo managed to get that cr past the radar. <laughs> but, yeah. Does this remind you of anything? <laughs> I should probably also mention, if I do an RLP, and it's a pretty huge if, it's probably going to be a shorter game. Because I just can't be arsed to do anything above like 50 parts anymore, I'm just way too busy. I'm sorry, but that's just the way it has to be. That cinematic. Actually, I think just about every character, or at least every plot character in here, references something or other. I'm not sure where Alder's supposed to be, but I'm pretty sure Sharon or Sharon, how do you pronounce that, is a persona reference. Yeah. That's all about, but this game is just, in retrospect, painfully uninspired. It kind of makes me sad. Alright, so now we have to go kick Gen's ass back to Death Note Land. So let's do it. Got your light Shinigami right here. Whatever, like you got me, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I really I really don't care anymore, guys. Like I'm probably just gonna do like one commentary per thirty episodes, cause that's just how little I care about this now. Okay, so it looks like you're gonna have to fight all these sages at once, but then but then wait for it. Pokemon Leader Defense Force, go! Uh-huh. <clears throat> Who's the, um, first gym leader trio is missing? Everyone else is here, though.
and as I recall, there's a very good reason for that. I just can't remember offhand what it was. It's one of those, like, what happened to the mouse, like, it's mentioned in passing things later. Yeah. <clears throat> Hell, even the soundtrack in here is a friggin' rip-off of Coke Geass or something. It's just uncanny how much they ripped off of, like, random animes. Like, I mean, seriously. How can you not think that was a coincidence? It's, it's just not possible. I'm sorry. It isn't. There's too many damn similarities. Oh, and now the Shadow Triad shows up. Right, so, and actually had the nicety to let us heal and whatever before the battle. <coughs> also, notice how just about everyone in this castle has impossible hair colors. Or, Code Geass reference there. Tannins, whatever. It really is, I'm sorry, it really is just uncanny how much they ripped off of that. I'm just at a loss, really. Eventually, put up a score run of some Toho game. Maybe. I do know the game has a replay feature, so it can be used to record one continue clears or what have you. I think, possibly. Alright, so there's a PC here, you can heal your mons and someone here, I think, in this room that teleports you back to the Pokemon Center. First, grab a Max Revive. That'll come in handy. This, I'm just gonna tell you guys right now, Getsis is a bitch to kill. You're gonna see in a few episodes here. I'm not gonna actually commentate that, but I still cannot beat him in one go. Like, I pretty much always have to lose to him and then go all the way back to the Pokemon Center. The only way I can win that fight is by dealing with ending gets us separately rather than series, as the game forces you to do. So, yeah, most of the time it's just gonna be easier for you to lose the gets us and then come back and fight him on your terms. Yeah, that's the one that teleports you to the Pokemon League, so you can use a Pokemon Center and whatnot. Buy items, all that jazz. Do it here. And it's also worth noting that this is the only time you're going to have to do this. After that, every clear of the Elite Four is going to be standard, like, four champions and whatever, yeah, all those. Except, here's the kicker. Everyone's going to be 20 levels higher than when you last fought them, so you're going to have to do quite a bit of leveling up on the side post-game areas. Just gonna stock up on items here. As much as I possibly can. Oh, yeah, it's also worth noting that if you're planning on killing your version's legendary, it results in a non-standard game over. So, you're pretty much forced to catch it no matter what. And it doesn't make the fight against Getsis any easier or faster. <laughs> so, I'm not sure why they forced you to do that, honestly. All 
or then for plot reasons, I guess. That's almost like saying Skyrim is easy because it's supposed to be easy. I don't know. It's just stupid. Flawed logic, even. Okay, so I'm probably just gonna end up commentating on this whenever it's next convenient for me to do so. When I actually have something to say. But, yeah. See you guys later.